Hello guys, welcome to Windows 10 mouse lag issues and fixes. So today we're gonna go through the most disturbing issues with the mouse on Windows 10. We're gonna try to fix them all, of course. So uh, let's just get started here. We have the first step, as uh, the first step is to uh, remove Cortana. So and to do that, we need to uh, download this uninstall Cortana program. So what you need to do is just download it. This is the download link by the way here. It's here. And extract it to any folder. Like for instance here. And yeah, follow the instructions. Uh illustrated in this imagery here as you can see. Like this image. You right click this one and run as admin, etc. etc. Okay. So after you have done this Windows 10 will reboot or restart, okay? Now after it's restarted the start menu may not function may not function so if it doesn't function it's okay we got something here we got the classic shell it's a replacement for a Windows 10 uh, start menu it's quite handy as you can see just like this one it's just like Windows 7 which is amazing Alright, just uninstall it and there you go, you have the, your uh, start win menu back. Now, um, what we're gonna do again, alright, let's uh, go to the desktop. Like, th this should be your desktop. I disabled all the shortcuts so we can see anything because of the mess. <laughs> Lol. So, what you need to do, right click the desktop and go to display settings. Now you, I need you to actually go to notification, notifications and actions here, and please make sure to uh, turn off this one and this one. Okay, the first ones, the last one should be turned off, I guess, right? So after you, you've done that, it's uh, pretty much it. This will help actually with the CPU usage. You will be using using less CPU, okay? So that's something interesting always interesting so now what we're gonna do we're gonna right click we're gonna just click the start menu the new fancy men menu yay right click this PC properties I'm gonna go over the device manager so if you have Bluetooth the first thing you wanna do is disable Bluetooth like here I can enable it but you should see disable button just disable it you know why because uh, if you're using the Wi-Fi the, the Bluetooth will use more power of your Wi-Fi wi uh, device or uh, card so that will uh, actually might disconnect you from time to time and it might uh, soak up so much more power from the uh, the USB ports so I guess I mean it, it won't leave enough power for the USB port to soak up so I guess that's so important here I like I like to disable my webcam personal preference now let's let's do something very interesting let's do something very interesting if you have uh, if you have Nvidia Nvidia card we can do something about it what is uh, all right I can see ah here we have sound video and game controllers we're gonna click this one <coughs> and make sure look for NVIDIA virtual uh, well actually what is it I think I disable it. it it was anyways it was NVIDIA audio high something hmm that's interesting let's actually NVIDIA audio high definition okay this is the driver you need to be looking for like if you find this one right guys if you find this Nvidia audio high definition which I don't see it here just right click it for for instance I'm gonna take an example of this right click it and click in install like you don't need this shit click it you don't need it anymore also if you have virtual stuff you can just remove them if you don't use them of course yeah, this actually helped me so much with my mouse, like literally. 
so much. So what other thing that is important? We have the USB hub and the root hub. Now make sure you right click all these guys like right click go to properties go to the power management and make sure this one is unticked like like this like this and click OK okay for all these guys for all for all of them I think here we might have done we might have been it's okay it's okay we we are okay there now what else we wanna do before we head to other steps I want you to go to mouse type mouse here and go to mouse pointer make sure you tick off this one okay tick it off keep it like this and count one two three four five six this is where it should be like if you have if you want a uh, good mi mouse accuracy for whether RTS or FPS just make sure this goes here in the middle so uh, now what we gonna do we're gonna download this program Marxy what this Marxy does it will improve the accuracy of your mouse as well and it will remove the mouse acceleration that Windows 10 comes with so you download this program extract it to any folder I have it here for instance now and enter this folder since we're using Windows 10 can I enter here okay and as you can see we have four files to choose from we have like 100% 125 etc so what we need to do here we're gonna go back to the desktop again right we're gonna click display settings we're gonna go to the uh, advanced display settings we're gonna go to the uh, advanced sizing of text and then we're gonna click set a costume scale and level now here if you have 100 percent you're gonna go to the marxy folder oh sorry whoops you're gonna go to the marxy folder and select this one click this one like go like this and run it immediately if you don't have if, if you see uh, 150 etc it's the same thing okay the reason th that I'm using 125 is to make my mouse a little bigger as you can see the cursor is slightly bigger than uh, usual and also the icons are bigger so I like big things sorry guys I like big things so you click okay since you double click this one and you're done now we're not we're not done yet guys we have one more thing, I have one more thing to share with you very important we have this mouse movement recorder we can run this mouse movement recorder and try to, to move your mouse left right left right like if you're using a, uh, a gamer mouse and you see so many low hertz like if you see so much uh, 50 hertz or you see red something red text in this that will mean that your mouse is actually uh, plugged in in a different in a bad USB port and you need to change it to another USB port okay and if you do, if you have a gamer mouse and it has lower than 500 hertz all the time that means that you need to change the USB port Bec because the uh, the theory here is the the USB uh, mice and keyboard use USB 2.0 they don't use 3.0 so make sure you're plugging your mice and keyboard in USB 2.0 please because if you plug in different USB port uh, USB port through 3.0 that'll just break the functionality of th the mouse it'll bug it'll lag etc so that's a tip for you guys to to check out hmm did I miss anything I guess not <coughs> we have this program <coughs> excuse me we have this program Chalex View you, you're gonna download this program it's 
all the way in the bottom download here install it and here is what you're gonna see a window like this so what you need to uh, disable here is is uh, the ones that do not say Microsoft like disable all of them or Windows disable all of them like you don't need them even printers if you don't use any printer you can disable it so yeah that's pretty much it here hmm did I miss anything yeah for uh, Age of Empires guys that are playing on Wubbly guys make sure to, uh, to use this uh, settings for the game room custom custom settings okay make sure to use this it, it also helps anyways thank you guys for watching this video I hope it, uh, it it's useful for some of you or most of you guys so uh, see you next time guys have fun